Hey guys, welcome to Transworld Snowboarding. Actually, that just says snowboarding. Oh, no, it says home, 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 snowboarding. <laughs> oh, it's really hard to read up there. Yeah. Um, today we're starting the game off with Incidic 47, Blink Tester, and Segmentation Fox. Yo, what up, my homies? Yeah. So, Transworld Snowboarding is a game based off of the magazine with the same name. Wow, that's a bad start. <laughs> and it is a Xbox-only game, Xbox original game. And I guess I'm adding it on to the Xbox block. I know it's snowboarding, I know we've been snowboarding for two games, but you guys have got to see this. So it's the Xbox snowboarding block? Yeah, it's the end of the Xbox snowboarding block, which was kind of, you know, like a... A sub-block of, a, a sub of the Xbox block. Wow, how were you supposed to pronounce that one dude's name, like, two dudes ago? Uh, like, Willy Ulomo, was that it, or...? I don't know, like there was a hyphen. Oh, mm, wow, you can, turn, you can turn goggles on or off, holy crap. Yeah, guys, wow. look at these customizations. <laughs> Barrett Christie looks scary. But yeah, this features ten Nikola of... Tesla looks scary. <laughs> this fe this features ten of snowboarding's uh people. Yeah. I don't know if there's like the greatest riders, <laughs> they're just riders. They are just riders. But Solomon! Solomon, yep. Oh man. Um, they went dogs. Scrolling through them, it just so happened that I think Daniel Frank is the best choice. And I'm gonna say this now, the most important stat, and I can say this immediately, is flip because there's a challenge about a f half the half of the way through the game. I'm trying to go for all challenges here. There's a challenge halfway through the game where the character with the worst flip stat can barely do that challenge. Like, if, wow. if, if you get a little less air off that jump, the character would not be able to pass that challenge. Is that really the only reason why flip is the most important stat? Yeah. I mean, oh. everyone spins like mad anyway. Balance doesn't really matter, because if you fall off rails, you keep going. Like, you don't crash. Mm. And, uh, Switch. I don't know. Switch is Switch. So, this game's kind of laid out like a lot of other games. You've, you've got, you know, kind of the, the longer levels with uh, ten or so goals in them. Actually, there's, you know, like, more standard levels, and then they've got a big air level and a half pipe level, and then a race level, usually. Yep. Yep. So, this is Bavaria. And, uh, we'll just hop into the gameplay. I hear so they have good cream there. Yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. Hmm? Cream. Yeah? Mm. I don't know. So, I I got interested in this game. I guess you could say interested when I... Why uh, did you put air quotes around interested? Because I, I don't even know if I searched for it. I just stumbled upon the one video on YouTube for this game. Which is a dude kind of like just, you know, playing. Like putzing 10 minutes around. of it. Putzing around. And the thing I noticed was that, like... He just, like, could spin like mad and land on his fucking face and keep going. And I was like, wow, that game looks like garbage. And, and is it garbage? Um, it's pretty clunky. It's clunky. It's pretty clunky. Well, I see um, there was at least collision on the underside of that rail back there. Yep. Yeah. It's kind of... It's a pretty standard game, you know, but it's not super well put together, but it's not going to be like a Johnny Mosley train wreck or anything. This might become a boring game, but it is something I want to show off because, you know, after working with it, I was able to kind of understand its mechanics and I was able to get through the full game. I have recorded the full thing. Wow, that that rail grind looked really weird to me. Yeah. Very awkward. Yeah. So, I guess the main thing of this game is kind of its combo system, which lots of games have combo systems. <laughs> this has a, Yeah. This one has one where, like, you know, you can land normally, get no combo increase, you can land lousy, like, you know, land facing sideways, and uh, your combo gets cut in half. So if you have a 10x and you land lousy, now you have a 5x combo. And if you have a 5x and you land lousy, you get a 2.5x. Yeah, but if you land perfectly, like, oh, well, right there was a lousy 10x to 5x, but if you land perfectly, it doubles your combo, so you go from a 10x to a 20x. So let's say you have a thousand points and a 10x combo. Land perfect, that's 20,000 points. Land lousy, that's 5,000 points. That's a huge gap. And Yeah, that's enormous. It only gets bigger as you kind of get the bigger combos, because the big problem with this game is it really doesn't give you that many points. Like, 
you know, I went all out, got like a kind of big combo, and had 2,000 points times yeah, 7. Yeah, I mean, you do, you do it, what would be, in any other game, a ridiculous amount of spinning, and you get like 200 points. Yeah. Like a double flip spin gives you maybe 100 points. Yeah. And the game's score requirements doesn't think it, you have this problem, or it thinks you get a lot more points than you do. So you basically have to combo the whole level and get like a 30x combo to get anywhere close. Jesus. And so it, it kind of goes like, you know, so to anyone who sees this in the future, I just finished up playing uh, the Amped games, Amped Freestyle Snowboarding 1 and 2, which had sort of, you know, their problems and their sort of workarounds for the way they do combos in that game. And this game does it differently and also manages to have issues with that because of the little amount of points. Um, but there are a few things that I don't think the game expects you to be able to do that that uh, make it easier. Actually, I should first explain how you combo. You hit both triggers before you land, and you, you know, the combo meter starts filling up. It's like SSX. So, all you have to do is just hit the triggers before you land, and that means that if you're riding, you know, riding and you're not going to make it to the ramp before the combo runs out, just jump in the air, hit the triggers, land, you're comboing again. Like, literally just jump, land, you get to go. it resets you. <laughs> yeah. And also, if you have a good thing and you're like, you know what, I should just cash this in, just jump, don't even move, and land, and obviously you'll do a perfect landing and it'll double your combo. Well, that's handy. So even if... You know, the game's expecting this sort of trade-off of I can land and keep comboing and, you know, not get perfect, or I can get a perfect to double my thing, but my combo ends there. But you can actually get the best of both worlds. So that was kind of kind of technical, but, you know, that's sort of what I figured out to uh, make the game a bit more of an easier experience, and so now we can just go through this game and see what happens with it. I don't know about I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel like that seems a little bit silly. You know, like if if in real life when you're snowboarding, if you do a trick and you do something really cool, you don't have to get everyone to recognize how cool it was by jumping once in the air. Yeah, you know. I hear they're and, gonna add that to the next X Games. Yeah, yeah, you have to jump at the end, or nobody will get nobody gets points. You know? I mean, it's... I mean, I'm kind of doing that to cheese the game, you know? Yeah. I do a combo but I would and think I'm that, like... I would think that they would have thought of that. Yeah. That I don't know, maybe they didn't. Thought of that, you shouldn't be able to combo after doing nothing. Right. You know, something like that. Um, that so a lot like... of these... Oh, no, see, it ahead. seems like they got sort of the standard... Uh extreme early 2000s kind of screamo second wave grunge kind of butt rock going yeah. on here got some like pop punk got some radio punk radio rock butt rock whatever you call it alternative Which, yeah alternative yeah we got some hip hop in here whoa that that fucking aurora looked like a big dick <laughs> hey man oh Maybe yeah that was planned so usually there's specific trick challenges, you know, like a 720 nose grab or a level environment interaction challenges, which are just smash through this one gate or grind this one thing. <laughs> Clip through um, the powder. Yeah. Or, uh, or, you know, it does look like a dick, actually. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, and one more thing to mention, if you look down and you see me get a perfect something air, that's just because I hold it long enough. If I hold one trick long enough, it becomes a perfect trick. And is, that, is that worth it, though? I mean, would it be, would it be yeah, better I think to it do gives... a couple different tricks in the no, same I th jumper? No, um, I don't know, like... I think it's worth it to do the perfects, because, like, if you see my combo going up in the air, that's because I spin again or flip again. You know, if I do a bunch of different grabs, that does the same thing as, you know, doing one grab and holding it. Mm -hmm. It actually says, like, hold a grab until you get a perfect, then switch to another grab. So I'm guessing that you get X amount of points up until you get perfect. Right, and then which, it maxes out. Yeah. And then you're better off switching to something else. Yeah. 
But uh, note that even 30,000 points is quite a lot to get on this track. Yeah. Like, that's the, uh, that's the score requirement, and it's like, how the fuck do I get that? Your character does some really weird animations at the end. Yeah, yeah I was gonna dude, say. My dude set on shadow boxing, you know? Is, is that what he does? Yeah. He's like, Cause it looks like he's just having a small seizure or something. He's like, come here, bitch, I'm gonna show you my knuckles. You're about to go on Knuckle Airlines Fist class, you know? Wow. Please don't say that at break out. <laughs> well, unlike Sonic, he don't chuckle. Yeah. <sighs> Look at it. And that's yeah. about what you need to do. I feel like the snow looks really weird. It's kind of got these ridges, you know? It's Why, like though? It's like sponsored by Ruffles or something. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Maybe it's... it's. Sup I think it's supposed... Yeah, I think it's supposed to be, like, groomed in that area. I've seen yeah, them do that. Yeah, because over here it's not... Yeah. Uh, it's ridgy. supposed to kind of simulate that look of, you know, the... Yeah, groomed snow for a event, but... Hmm. This looks strange. Oh, uh... One more thing, we talked about music a bit. I'm, this is for the Xbox, so you can play custom soundtracks. We're using Blank Tester's Xbox, so he's got a few custom, uh, couple, you know, uh, CDs added in. So we'll be doing um, the in-game music for an episode or two, and then we'll be switching over and seeing what he's got on it. You know, it ain't Beardah, we ain't gonna get that classic rock, get, but... I hope we don't get copyright strike. I think with our <laughs> audio talking over, it shouldn't be a big deal. Okay. Although the yeah the music during that last challenge was significantly less butt rock and more yeah. generic elevator jazz. You want to know something? It, it it reminded me of Sonic 06. <laughs> Everything comes back to Sonic, doesn't it? Yep. <sighs> it it reminded me of Sonic 06, like when you're walking around that first hub world. Yeah. That stupid whistly music. Mm. I don't even fucking know what what. What genre it is, but it's <laughs> terrible. It's just like not that tune, but it gets the same tone. <laughs> um, so the levels for the career mode usually follow like you know standard kind of standard track, I guess, and then big air, then a half pipe, and a race, and maybe a back country before we go back to standard track, and it repeats. And each episode, I'll have two events. So that was a standard and a big air. Next will be a half pipe and a back country. Woo. Woo. So thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys next time. Yay.